Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're talking about handheld blowers once again. In our video today, we are going to talk about two accessories that are available for your handheld blower. And we're gonna show you how to put them on. And stay tuned, we're gonna go outside and use them as well. All right, so one, we talked about all of these models in our previous video that came out last week and broke down all the little specifics to them. This blower, the BG50, is just a blower and it doesn't have any accessories that go with it. There's no other tubes that will fit on here. You cannot convert this one to a vacuum, but it is nice and light and you notice it doesn't have a handle piece here because you don't need it and that saves you some weight as well. These two, however, have two very popular kits that are available to you. The same accessory fits on either Homeowner 56 or the Commercial 86. There's a gutter kit that fits on both, and there's a vac kit that fits on both. We're going to show you what those look like and how to put them on. So the first one is the gutter kit, and this picture here really gives you an idea exactly what it does. But we're going to put it on and we're going to go clean a gutter with it. This is the contents of the package, and this is the part number. You know, from steel, it's not really important to have part numbers. You should have a local knowledgeable dealer. You just pop in there and say, hey, I need a gutter kit. They look up what blower you own. They get you the right kit. So in this package are three pretty long tubes. I'd say they're four foot tubes. And then a connector piece. This is going to clip on the end of your blower. And then this is going to go on the other end and blow down, give you some directional airflow into the gutter. Now you may only need one or two. In our case, we're gonna need all three. We're gonna be blowing the gutter here at our shop and it's quite high, it's 14, 15 feet high. This thing's long, too long to be all in one shot. I ran out of roof. So we put this piece on, this is what's gonna clip onto the end of the blower. Put this on the other end. So this tube, is what fits on the end of your blower. And it's very easy, you just twist, pull this off, insert this, and twist. Now this tube, which I can't really play with in this room very well, will fit on the end of your blower here, like so. All right, so we're gonna go outside and show you how that works. Pretty straightforward, you guys get it. So it's a little wet out today. We actually just got hit by Hurricane Nicole uh, this morning, the eye passed over here. It was small for Florida standards though. We put this kit on the BG86. We're gonna crank it, we got the gutter kit on it. We got all three sections of tube. So this is a little over 12 feet long. Then you got the blower. Then you got me standing up and we're going to try to clean this gutter that's at like 15 feet here at our shop. It's probably full of water because of this hurricane and I may get wet. There were no leaves in there to be blown out. You can kind of see how it works. Fully extended, it's, a, it's pretty long. It's maybe as long as it could possibly be. There's some bend there from the Air Force. And I don't know if I put these fittings together as tight as I could. I could have jammed them down, made this a little more rigid. I would say on my roof at home, I definitely wouldn't need three. I would only need two, and I wouldn't have that problem at all. But you can see it would save me a ladder and getting up high and dangerous in this situation. All right, if you have a 56 and 86, there's also another kit that's available to you, and that's a vacuum kit that's gonna convert your handheld blower into a vacuum. This has pretty much all the features that the vac model, the SH56 and 86 has in it. If you have an older model, like a 55 or an 85, there is a kit that is also uh, available to fit those and turn those into a vac. So inside of this box are these contents here. And I have one open already, so I'm not gonna even open that box. Basically this is your bag, and this is gonna hook up here. 
And then this is going to go on the intake side of your blower over here and change the flow of this machine around to turn it into a vacuum. And it's very easy to take these pieces on and off. We're going to show you how to do it real quick. If you still have this handy, this is a good tool, but I'm sure you have a flathead. There's an opening in the top of this slip ring here, and you're pushing a little buckle piece down, and then this tube comes off. This tube goes on the same way here. Just insert and slide this little ring up. You can see that the buckle is like a little ramp, and if you slide this whole opening here, at the base of the ramp and twist, you'll hear a click letting you know that it's, it's not gonna fall off on you. And now this tube will pivot between this, this range right here. And you have a nice little shoulder strap to wear to hold this thing like this. The last piece is putting in the pickup tube and really you just insert your screwdriver and press down there. This opens up. Taking a good look inside of here, there's some pieces that your pickup tube have to line up to. This tube's serrated, and when you're operating it, you want it to sit flush like that on the ground. On this side, you notice this ring around here has some notches in it, and then there's two notches here. Well, the spacing between this, these two notches and the spacing between these two notches are different. Basically, there's an orientation. There's only one way that this tube is going to mount up here. And it is like this. We'll try to come in close and give you a shot of that right there. And then once that's on, same idea. Put this ring up close to the unit and twist till you get some nice clicks. Then your vac is ready to go. So we'll go outside and show you what that looks like, what kind of work that's capable of doing. All right, attachment number two. This is our BG56 handheld blower. And we've taken the blower tube off and put this bagger tube on and opened up the intake covering and put this intake tube on. And we're going to see what kind of stuff it will vac up. This kit could also go on your BG86 if that's what you had. So one thing I always tell customers who are buying this vacuum here is that this is no replacement for a rake. You would be moving along at this rate. This would be excellent for cleaning out behind where your trash cans are stored, around your air conditioning units, in the tighter areas where you aren't able to fit a rake, and it would pull it all up and bag it for you and get it out of there. So there's really two levels of suction. As you're hovering over the material, couple inches away that's one level and then as you put the nozzle all the way down flat to the deck that's the next level it's kind of like when a dentist has that suction thing in your mouth and then you close your lips and it pulls your cheeks in if you were trying to like remove leaves that were on top of your mulch or your rock you could definitely hover this over the top of them and pull just the leaves off and not pull the mulch but if you were to put this all the way down flush to the deck it would probably pull everything all the way up till dirt. So let's go try some more stuff. You know, that was wet material is kind of packed on and it did a great job picking it up. I'm sure you can see what other applications this has for you in your own life. Two kits that are available to you that are about $50. One's the gutter kit, one's the vac kit. It turns the blower you already have into another tool for your house. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Keep watching our videos. We love you, bye.